And now back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic and your host, Bobby Likas. Ray, welcome. Thanks for holding. Welcome to Bobby Likas yeah. Car Clinic. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. I have a 99 Chevy pickup. Uh, it's a 350, I think. Okay. And when I'm, if I push the gas all the way to the floor, mm-hmm. it totally bogs down. So I never do that. But if I need to get up to speed or go around some, I just ease it on. You know, regularly. Right. And but if I stop it to the floor, it just totally bogs down. Have you had any services performed? In, or, um, and I don't use the word tune up because that doesn't apply. But uh, like, for instance, a fuel filter. Uh, how many miles since the car has been served? Oh, how many miles? One hundred eighty thousand. I've got it used. So really, you don't really have a history of this vehicle. No, sir. No, sir. Well, there are so many, you know, Ray, I can, I can yeah. dazzle you with a lot of jargon, and I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Here, here's what I yes. recommend. Uh, let's look at the basics. And what are the basics? The basics would be, number one, uh, what, what's required when you open the throttle? <gasps> Take a deep breath, fuel. engine, fuel. Exactly. Yes. You got it. You got it. So, so should you go put a fuel pump on it? No. The first thing you should do is have a fuel pressure test performed at the same time, and this is not spending a lot of money, at the same time you should, out of a course of maintenance, and maintenance only, and maintenance means that if you uh, spend your hard-earned dollars for parts and labor to perform a specific service on your vehicle, you do that under the scheduled maintenance column, not under the, I hope it fixes my, uh, this is going to fix my car problem. However, you would do that anyway, whether or not you had a problem. And so I always, yes, I always leaned toward and recommend the obvious maintenance services, because if I recommend changing a fuel filter, which I'm going to do, and I'm doing, yes, sir. and that fixes your problem, not only am I your hero, but you didn't spend a uh, hundred bucks okay having something tested. So you see where I'm going? So yes, here, sir, here's, here's what I want you to do. And I, I hope you're prepared to follow this, this advice. Yes, sir. Uh, have the fuel filter removed. Make sure yes, and replaced. Make sure that the old gas from the old filter is poured into a container. And that container can be uh, the bottom half of a milk jug. It doesn't have to be a sophisticated beaker. But what you want to do, you want that technician to, and this is not something that you should do, you want that technician to pour that fuel out of that filter backwards from the way it normally flows because otherwise you're just getting what's filtered out one end, which is the outlet. You want to know what comes out of the inlet. And therefore, when you pour the fuel out of the filter, the last, you know, you'll have eight, five, three or four cc's of gasoline. That, that's not a big yes, deal. You, what you want to see is the last hundred drops because that's where the, the stuff starts to come out that's trapped in there. And you'll notice yes, that it's going to be black. You, and if you notice there are metal flakes, like you pan for gold, and you'll yes, know that the fuel pump is going away. And then oh. you'll know just by replacing the fuel filter, the current can, it's like performing a blood test on your fuel system to include the heart okay. pump, which is a fuel pump. You got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got it. Okay. It, it's a really great, hey. you know, we do that. Yeah. We do that universally when we have a vehicle that's in for a regular service with no problems. We st- oh. and we don't and we put a fuel filter. We don't put a fuel filter and throw it toss the old one. We use the the fuel out of the old one to determine what's in the gas tank because that's an easy way oh. without pulling the gas down. You got it? Okay, I got it, sir. Okay. Thank you very, You're very welcome, much. You're welcome, Ray. Call me Bobby. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir, Bobby. Bye bye.